Namaste and welcome. Today we'll be talking about the sign Capricorn, which is zodiac sign out of 12 zodiac signs that we have. Now Capricorn is a sign ruled by Saturn, the planet Saturn, which is the smallest planet out of the major nine planets that we have in astrology. This is Saturn's own zodiac sign. So these are of all the zodiac signs that we know, this is probably the most serious zodiac sign. So the these people at a younger age will tend to be very serious about an objective about everything in their life. So you can't take them taking anything lightly. So and it is also represented by the direction south. So south is the direction of this zodiac sign for instance. So they are the people who will who are very specific, they are decisive, they are a little cold and they they would like to do delay things but do things in their own sweet way. Also pragmatic enterprising uh, but dry at sometimes these people Capricorn also have set boundaries for everything so if uh, you know if I have to do like dancing I this is my form of dance but I won't go beyond this this is very specific but I close this I master that so they are very specific about uh, their surroundings and the decision making as well they will try to limit things they do pragmatic pragmatism at the same time and they will try to delay things which could have been done because they want to believe they they know the best how to do a task kind of thing they are also the planet they are also the people who are sort of perfectionist they would like to do things in the most perfect way uh, no matter how much time it takes but very detail oriented at the same time they are very cautious people uh, similar to sagittarius again but they are most cautious and most dry and most serious of all the rashis or all the other zodiac signs that we have prominent but very cautious of every decision every small step that they take in their life that behavior also makes them very secretive so a person looking at them can really be confused can really guess uh, what they're going to do and they are also people who don't like others to try to read them by any means in terms of compatibility they make very good friends with Taurus which is Venus ruled and of course Virgo which is Mercury ruled and Capricorn again being the third choice. So these are the three zodiac signs they are very good friends with. They are also sort of detail oriented people. They would like to organize the best. In fact, if, if you look at a management role, they are a very good fit for a management role because they can be very well organized, like in, in sense almost perfect, like they, are, they believe in perfectionism. So uh, in a corporate setup, they can be people who are the most organized, so organized that they also know that I might be asked this versus that tomorrow. So uh, they are a very good employee in other words because the boss would love them. They are very dry and very logical. So in fact, they are the people, they are the last people of all the zodiac signs. They are the last people you can go and cry to. So if you, if you let's say cry to or you need that hug or that shoulder to rest upon, they are the very, they are the most logical people out there. So they will have no emotions at all. They can be completely dry somebody's crying they might, and and it's very rare for this personality to cry in fact they don't take advice because they, they themselves have perfected that art a lot they are really hard and serious workers so if you provide them advice only when you really res have respect in their eyes so if they think good of you and you know you have done something tangible in your life only then they take your advice they don't really listen to any ordinary human being uh, even if the boss it doesn't matter they also see security at times so in terms of career and profession, they would prefer a job which is for a long term, which can give them a full on stability in their life from early on to the retirement of age, uh, from early on to the retirement stage, for instance. And they are very good fit for management position, like I said, because they would like to set very high goals for themselves and then do everything else in that matter, in that uh, way and keep it organized well or architected, uh, well oriented and then sort of achieve that goal and then they want outcomes of that. And they also get frustrated if there is no outcome. Like sometimes in corporate world, it doesn't work that way. You know, somebody else your, takes your credit. But they are very specific in all that. It can be very good fit for offices, working in warehouses, hospitals, environment kind of thing. Professions which they can be part of is, of course, a high school programmer, computer scientist, somebody who is a software guy, a software engineer, an accountant, an electrician, an architect, nurse a scientist or a legal secretary, for instance. They also make very good jewelers, you know, who design jewelry or maybe a realtor or a salesperson as well. They make good friends with Taurus and Virgo as well in terms of associations or partnerships they can have. So I hope I covered the kind of traits they have, the basic characteristics. The 
kind of behavior you can expect from them kind of uh, careers you can get into so kind of friends a capricorn can have so thank you for watching namaste